All right, even though this video has Bruce in it, it's not about Bruce. It's about Derek's tricep. What we're trying to do is work loosen some of that massive tension that he has on the back um, to increase some range of motion in the shoulder and scapula. Um, basically, overall feeling in the shoulder joint. What are you doing, man? How much pressure are you applying? Honestly, just the weight of my arm. The weight of the arm. I'm not even pushing. There's no point. Like we were talking before, like you can definitely, if you use really, really small tools and rely a lot of pressure, uh, you know, your tissues, think about a steak, right? I can stab a spoon through a steak. So if you're using some stuff that's causing too much inflammation, too much pain, uh, it can actually be detrimental, in my opinion, to it. Um, if Derek's given very little pressure to this and it's uh, accumulating a change for the good, why would you do a lot more? So uh, lightly rolling, loosening up that stuff. He's feeling a lot in that in the tricep lower down there by the tendon towards the elbow. Right above my elbow. Right above the elbow. Um, I feel my bicep loosening as well. Yep. Okay, so now here we were just talking about that before. Um, you can use anything. I just think this tool is really good. It's a mobility wad, a battle star. Basically, it traps the tissue in between those rollers, and as you go over, he can kind of stay on the spot that's uh, causing tension um, instead of a ball where you're going to roll right over that tissue, right over that tricep, and the you know different heads of the tricep. Anyway, uh, powerlifting. Why are the triceps important? Lock out your bench, uh, especially on the top end. So you need massive strength in the triceps, right? Right above the elbow. That's the muscle that, that actually is going to lock your elbows out. So that's why most of the pain is, is above that elbow because that's the, you know, the three you're, heads. You're building that a lot, right? Plus that common, common tendon. Um, okay, so we're talking also on setting up for the squat. Um, same thing. Triceps and chest are very, very you know, connected. So if I'm trying to mobilize my shoulder blade into a position to get my elbows tight to my body for, you know, tighter... For the squat, uh, we got we got to affect the triceps as well as the chest and shoulder joint. Um, so, are you about done with this side? Just about. And you'll notice, like on a heavy squat, when you really torque your elbows under and your bicep, you'll have people get bicep.